What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are headed to New York City because I had a hole in one and it won me an all expenses paid trip to the Big Apple featuring some courtside tickets to the Knicks versus Hawks game. Lauren will be joining me on this adventure and I cannot wait to bring you all along. Let's get into it. Let's get it. You get the thick one. Thick. You got everything? What did I do with that little mask? You don't have it? Dang, what did I do with that mask? <laughs> did I leave that mask in the car? Oh, I must have put it on the ground. Fantastic. Let me just put that on my face for the next eight hours. <laughs> mm. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> It's that penny, Claire. It's that penny. I have to take the penny out. So I found a penny earlier today and I picked it up because it was heads up. And I told Bradley, I'm like, this is good luck. I have to pick this up. He's like, no, if your life is going pretty smoothly, you don't pick up the good luck penny because it could mess up your already pretty decent luck, right? And I was like, no, I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to test over the next like 10 minutes or so to see if it's a good or bad luck penny. So I have to take it out and put it on the ground. We have to give it away. <laughs> Let's get rid of this. Get this darn evil penny out. I have a $2 bill, guys. Check this out. Sheesh. Kinda cool. Never spend it. It's good luck. I didn't think I was this superstitious. Penny. That's it. From here on out, it's only smooth sailing. A weight has been lifted. A weight of about 0 0.02 grams. That's probably surprising me. <laughs> Lauren, I am so excited to see you soon. Like deeply, viscerally excited in my body. You are my favorite. Since returning that penny to the ground it had lain on before, we got our seats switched, so then now we're sitting together. Spit this gum up. Should I spit it out there? What if someone steps in it? I'm sorry if you step in it. I didn't mean it. Bradley, tell me what this is about. So the salt melts the snow. The salt melts the snow. Oh, I like it. What are these bins? <laughs> New York, you baffle me. Hi, I'm, I'm so happy you're here. Lock your face from the Don't camera. Don't me. Wait, ah! We did it. Okay, wait. And then can we get a ride share? Thanks, Mom. There we go. to New York City. We have a whole day before the game, so we're gonna find a chill brunch spot, explore the city, and go to a lovely wine and chocolate dinner tonight. We're literally in a movie set. It's like one giant movie set. There's steam coming out of this column. 
randomly. NYPD over here. Break like out this, into a musical right now. And this man was like, Hey, you gotta put the thing in there. And like, there's like construction. I'm like, this is such a meme. The reason I brought you is because I thought that you had never been to New York. Claire, why would I say I've never been to New York? So many people know I've been to New York. <laughs> I have pictures on my Instagram of me in New York. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> my whole life is shattered. Why would I say I've never been? I feel duped. What do we see, Claire? I'm just casually walking the streets of New York City. What do I see? But none other than a sign. It says vegan deluxe is here. I go to the other side. There's a vegan burrito. Like, what am I supposed to do? We weren't gonna just get something like this. Um, yeah, let's let them know what time it is right now. I don't know what time it is. It's close to one. One? Yeah. Well, that's how long it takes for me to do my makeup. It needs to be appreciated more. was a mimosa i went over to a family friend's house and this woman made everyone mimosas and offered like me and my brother mimosas i was like 12. and then like it was wild then we went out to dinner i borrowed her dress and i had a hangover already because i was a child and i had a fast metabolism that's my story cheers one little mimosa glass but i was like oh whoa <laughs> All right, food's out. I made a last minute healthy decision and went for a grain bowl instead of a burrito. I went protein and fats, baby. So here's the thing about Instagram. Instagram, they basically like take from every other platform in a way that like could be perceived as rude, but it's the only reason why they're gonna be successful long-term in my opinion. It's because they take stories from Snapchat, they take IGTV from YouTube, they take reels from TikTok. They do everything on that one platform and you don't have just a picture post on TikTok. So like TikTok is good for what it's good for, but like Instagram takes everything and is that one stop shop for like all forms of social media. Wow. You put it in a great way right there. That's why I'm hoping that they thrive. We're hoping they thrive because we're thriving. Exactly. And we want to well, keep obviously, yeah, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tuning into our TED Talk. See you later on 35th and 4th Avenue. <laughs> There's a whole head of broccoli in Claire's tooth right now. <laughs> and we are going to need to extract this immediately. <laughs> I'm crying. We are on a different level of friendship right now. <laughs> okay, here. Oh my god. <laughs> Every time I see it, it's shocking. The scariest part of this is to just get the head and not the body. <laughs> Okay, don't be afraid. Let me get in there. <laughs> oh my. <gasps> I got it! I got it! <laughs> oh wow. That's incredible. I'm gonna need a moment to recover. We'll be back in a few moments. But the relief is incredible. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Jacob. That's Pacheco. what friends are for. <laughs> I don't know that one. I'll be on your side. I, I think you just are really off bitch, and I can't even understand. But this is like ever taking that tree out of your tube. Wow. We're gonna do Exodus because I'm like Bradley, you should try some on. You look like a you like a bougie man in the '90s. Look like you're trying to pull hoes in the '90s. I did. So. <laughs> no picture. Pictures. And it's in my bank account. In my bank account. Shot. We should get this one. Okay. Lauren, tell the vlog why we're doing this. Little 
bike is playing our song and we have to get on immediately. Let's go. Steve. <laughs> Eight dollars a minute. <laughs> this man surpassed like doctors hourly okay. rate. <laughs> okay, we're going towards the Empire State Building because we're gonna go back to our hotel to change. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, we're going. Okay. Here we it. go. Oh, oh my god, he is like a near hitting Thank God that music's on. <laughs> thank you. Her donation to the vlog. Oh, amazing. Thank you, Laura. Guys, we found the New York Golf Center. So we have to go in. It's obligatory. All right, everyone. Welcome to a new segment of this channel. I am reviewing golf clothing. We're going to start in the men's section. We're going to move to the women's section. Let's get after it. Boom. First off. <laughs> Right off the bat. <laughs> this print's fun. It's interesting. It might be a little too small, and the colors might be a little too similar. Overall, it's a, you know, six and a half out of 10 print, and I actually like what he's doing with the line, but I really like this piece. On to the next. We have a Penguin brand in which they embroider their logo on their pants and shorts. That's a hot take. It's a go for me, especially in the pink color. Be wild, be you. This one, a little weird. I've seen drinks, you know, martini glasses, but I have not seen mushrooms. Another hot take by Penguin. Okay, overall, I like the look of this print, but if I have to get this close to it to figure out what it is, and I still don't know what it is, that's a problem. Overall, it's pretty, I like the colors. This is weird. Everyone at home, this is an example of what not to do. Just a little bit lower. That's like the shoulder blade? <laughs> that's the shoulder blade. Oh yeah. I think this is cool. You gotta be a bold guy, and you also gotta be a little bit suave to wear this. But I like the bright orange and the bright blue because those are opposites on the color wheel, so this piece really pops. Onto the women's section. Okay, I'm at the Polo Ralph Lauren women's section here. I'm gonna just comment on some things I like, and then I'll get over the things I don't like. I like these. That's fun, that's feminine, that's cute, that's interesting. I like these buttons, that's high quality, that says, I actually care about this garment enough to give it nice buttons. I like the color schemes. It's like a spring color scheme. This is fun. There are some not great patterns happening here and we'll just leave it at that. You guys can see it. Over here at the Jay Lindeberg sport table. I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Great tailoring here. A very high quality piece. I like the minimal logoing. I wish I saw a little bit more color in this line. I don't feel particularly drawn to the colors of this line, the burgundy. It gives wealth, it gives class. I'm a fan. Ralph Lauren Polo Men, you killed it. If you ever see this garment in your size, I really highly recommend you buy it because this is like so nice. It is just so appealing. I also love the green version, so it's kind of the same idea, just different color schemes. I'm such a fan. Okay, that's it. <laughs> this is super cool. Yes. They have a downstairs and an upstairs, like most places in New York City. But upstairs, they have putting greens, they have simulators, all the golf club fitting stations. Really cool. I see you drain a putt. Buckets. Back to back. Back to back. Oh, let's go. That flighted. That was what, what we might call a shank. So what you got? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Every bone in my body just cracked <laughs> doing that. <laughs> what a stripe. Oh, nice. That was pure. Yeah, super good. Yeah. It was really 
fun. It's so fun up there. Cool. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. And I gave you my card, right? Yes. Make sure I get some final copy of this stuff. I'm gonna oh, yeah. Oh. We're going to post it. We can, uh, we're going to add the location and everything. Thank Ooh, you so much. Thank, Thank you, guys. Appreciate, you appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Have a good Bye. afternoon. Take care. Good night. That's awesome. It was nice. Yeah. <laughs> We get a lot of no pictures, no pictures. Yeah. So that was really nice. Buddy. Thank you. Bye. This is a really cool facility. Yeah, that was cool. That was really cool. the funky smells and I almost just put my face in a dumpster on accident. <laughs> so chill. <laughs> Heads and dumpsters and whatnot. <laughs> All right, back to the hotel. Oh, this is it right here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Like, oh, what? This is like, you hear those ladies? They're like, and they also they don't know. Fashion. They were like, fashionable. They were fashionable. Yeah, they were. Goodbye, Bradley. All right, ready? We are ready. We are going to a wine and chocolate bar, and that's pretty much all we know about it. We wanted to go because. <laughs> The title said wine and chocolate. Wine and chocolate, so. That's all we needed. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> this was the place I wanted to stop at because it was so cute and it's the Wait. wine and chocolate place. Oh my place. gosh, really? Yes. It's meant to be. Yes. This wine and chocolate vibe knows Beth. what we need. We need florals and we need lights. <laughs> Raspberry chocolate, strawberry chocolate. By the way, we're all sharing. I but we got didn't our know martinis. what we were in for. <laughs> and I also like could go for like ten more of these. But they this said so we came for wine and chocolate, and we're doing the chocolate right now. So we're not not doing it right. And this was wine. Okay. Yeah. True. Mission accomplished. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to day two of this New York trip. Lauren and I, we slept in a bit. We slept in until like 9.30 or so. And we kind of lounged around and then we took a few photos, which you'll see on IG. And we'll put them here. And now this is the moment of the trip that we have all been waiting for. We are headed to the Knicks game. I am so excited. We're just walking on over. Knicks versus Hawks at Madison Square Garden. Unreal. Courtside tickets. 
once in a lifetime opportunity. But we are at the JP Morgan, uh, I think Delta, Delta Lounge. Yeah. And we're gonna have a little bit of food and a drink and just wait for the game to start. Here I have some delicate meats and some sushi in between. Mm. So I've got like a little meat sandwich going on with sushi as the meat. And the meat is playing the bread. It's all confusing here. Or I'm having a great time. It's good. <laughs> game's gonna start before we sit down because Claire's been putting on her lip gloss for 27 minutes. I respect it. I'm like, you know, she's like, boop. It does look good right the end. Wait, she's literally still in there. Hi. <laughs> not only because that was so so fun <laughs> have you ever walked on an escalator when it's not on 
kind of hard to walk on, weirdly enough. I think I know why. I think because an escalator compensates for the forward motion of the escalator itself when you're walking on it. So when it's still, it's like a weird miscalculation on where something should be. Because it's traveling up and it feels like a longer drop when it's not moving. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm overanalyzing this, but this is a little bit painful and hard to walk on. All right, guys, we are back to our hotel from the Knicks versus Hawks game. First time sitting courtside, maybe ever. Awesome. It oh, was, we'll be back. <laughs> hopefully, fingers crossed, who knows? The best. <laughs> I mean, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, so don't know if it'll come again, but it was an amazing trip to New York. So thank fun. you so much for watching this video. Lauren, thank you for coming. Bradley, thank you thank for, having you for me. <laughs> filming and editing this masterpiece. You're the man. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell notification. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, guys.